Lowercase is an eyewear company. Um, we're one of the only eyewear companies manufacturing in the United States. Uh, Gerard and I founded Lowercase about two years ago, and we've been operating in this space for about a year. Uh, we just launched our first line three months ago in January. And so uh, we import all of our materials from Italy. Then all the fabrication manufacturing is done right here. Um, the, the glasses don't leave our building until they're a finished product. It takes about 30 steps depending on how you count it. It can be a lot more um, if you really break it down. But basically we import the material. Uh, it comes in sheets similar to plywood. Uh, we break that down into small tablets and then they are cut on the CNC machine. Um, we use the Robotique to tend that machine. They then go from the milling into barrel tumblers for about four days, uh, which removes any tool marks, gives a radius to the edges, uh, and puts the finish on the plastics. And then from there, there's a series of smaller, more delicate hand work steps. Uh, we insert the hinges, we give them um, any sort of embellishment or details, the foil stamps, uh, and then they are polished, the lenses are cut and inserted, and they are packed up and shipped. Uh, when we were starting to design out the factory, it was really important to us to look at what the most efficient way was for us to produce these. Um, it's a very labor-intensive process, and we are such a small team that any sort of improvements that we can make on our efficiency is huge and so having a product that allows myself to sit at the computer and work on design or go work on one of the more labor intensive steps that can't be manned by a machine at this point is a huge plus for us. We were a small startup and at the time it was just myself and my co-founder Brian um, and we didn't really have any experience. I came from a finance background and Brian's an architect by by, by training and uh, so we didn't really have hands-on experience with robots or actually much machinery at all um, and so when we started looking into the prospect of having, having a, a robot tend the CNC which we knew would be just kind of a high volume predictable repetitive process um, we engaged with basically every name you can think of in the robotics world um, and the problem we kept running into was one, the cost was extremely high, um, but we were always able to get our heads around that because of the value that um, we thought the robot would add to our process. Uh, it's that the integration costs of most robotic solutions are three, four times the cost of the actual physical product itself. Uh, and when we uh, worked out a solution with access and with uh, using the UR5 and the robot Robotique uh, gripper, uh, the integration cost was a fraction of the actual purchase price. And so that made it you know, tenable for a small company of two people to integrate a robot into our solution. 